This is the mindset of a believer. The mindset of the believer is, I want to invest in heaven. How do I do that? I want to go to heaven. I want to be there. What does it take for me to live my life like I'm going to heaven? And yet to care about some of the things here on earth. We can't just go, taxes? That's for people who aren't going to heaven. I'm above taxes. Or certain laws or stop signs or, well, dare I say, things like uh, supporting our governor in the use of masks or something like that. We're not above these things. We want to do our part here. The scripture teaches us that we're to honor those placed in authority, even the government, even the ones who aren't all that great. When they ask something that doesn't cause us to deny or defy the scriptures, like some of the things that happen in other states far, far west, as far west as you can go until you hit water. I won't name it. <laughs> where individuals are not permitted to worship or gather in, in certain size groups, even though that standard isn't held for other secular organizations. That's where we have to go, look, mm -mm. we'll play by the same rules as everybody, but we're not going to have our freedoms and the ministry we've been called to quelched or quenched or choked out. We want to stand and we want to minister. In fact, this is not a time to hide when people are afraid and there's a pandemic going around. God is in control. And so if he wants, like Paul, if he wants to take our lives, and one day he's going to take us all. I don't know exactly how. The rapture, that's a wonderful, I'll, I'll take that one. But one day we are all going to be gone because he's going to let this world go in the direction we won't let it go because we keep making noise. And right now it's good, but there's coming a time where he doesn't want that noise made anymore because he wants it to go in a direction where there's going to be a great deception and a, a false leader will rise up and, and the world will rally around that person. We're obviously not there yet because we're here. We're torn and we want to go. Lord, take us now in the midst of this pandemic. But, but we're still here. And while we're here, as Paul says, we've got life to live and we've got ministry to engage in. 